Hi there, I'm Carrie. And you all know Ziggy and this is my son. Oh, and we have someone back with us. What do you think of when you think of summertime? Pool. Pool? Sprinkler. Oh yeah, sprinkler's fun too. What kind of food do you think about when it's Apple. summertime? Ice cream. Yum. Anything else? Popsicles. Popsicles, yes. Anything else that maybe is on this shirt? Watermelon. Watermelon. That's right. Today we are trying out two watermelon slicers. And if they work, we're making watermelon ice cream. Woo. 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 <laughs> we'll try out this slicer and the cyclone. Here's our watermelon guinea pig. And I'm going to slice it with this giant contraption. Actually, if you look on the box, there's a tiny little watermelon about the size of this one in the picture. But then, whoa, suddenly it gets really big in this picture. What is going on there? Okay, come back here, little watermelon. In order to use this contraption, you need to cut off the ends of your watermelon. And then clap them together. Hmm, this watermelon is a little wonky. I feel like I need to make this a little bit more level. Possibly. Here we go. Going to center this and push down as hard as I can. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Check it out, it works so well. Trying to get the very bottom of it. Okay, that is a fast way to cut a watermelon. It reminds me of the apple cutters. Whoa, there we go. There we go, that is awesome. You had to use a little force to cut through there, but pretty amazing. All right, let's check it out. That is awesome. My kids are waiting on some watermelon, so let me run this watermelon to my kids. And then we'll try the cyclone. What do you have there? Watermelon. Whoa, how does it taste? Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Did you take a huge bite? <laughs> what are you eating? I got my one too. You got yours too. Is it good? Yeah? Does this piece taste as good as the big center piece? You mean dynamite piece? The dynamite piece. Um, like not as good, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> okay. Does this get a thumbs up? Mm-hmm. Cool. Thumbs up? Do you guys want to try watermelon ice cream later? Watermelon ice cream? All right. Do you want some watermelon? Oh yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> you take a bite. Are you sure now that you've seen your brother eat it? Nope. I'm breaking out the big watermelon for our little cyclone watermelon slicer. So same drill, we have to cut off the ends first. Clap, clap, clap. And now, slice it in half this way. Ta-da! Okay, now we're in business. So we take this and it has these different measurements. One centimeter, two centimeters. That measurement is for measuring how big you want your chunks to be. We are gonna go for the two centimeter size chunk. Let me start over here. Here we go. Does this thing work? Oh, oh, whoa! <laughs> it flew on the floor. A little too much force there. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Check that out. Easy chunks. Got a little stuck. Let's go for a little one centimeter chunks. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is easy. This is awesome. 
I need little chunks because I'm making watermelon ice cream. And to make that watermelon ice cream, I need two cups of watermelon. If you have slices like this, then you'll have to break out the knife, cut up a bunch of little chunks, and then measure it. But with this, you can just roll on through. And you have your chunks, easy to measure. Let's just keep going, whoa. It's almost too easy, you end up going so fast and this flies right through the watermelon. I will say watermelon juice is spraying everywhere. Oh, and it just got in my eye. It's okay. I'll see if I can clean the whole thing out. So it definitely gets harder to use the deeper you go. I'm starting to like this less and less. Let me explain why. If you need it for a recipe and you need to measure like two cups of watermelon, it's great. It will be very easy to measure this. But if you're just cutting it up to eat, it gets a little messy. You can't really clear out all the watermelon. You're going to end up wasting some and juice starts flying everywhere. So for my money, I would choose the wedge slicer over the cyclone. But if you need little chunks, this does get the job done. Remember this guy? I'm breaking them back out. So I'm wondering how this works on half a watermelon. So I'm going to try to center this and here we go. Oh boy, I'm needing to use a lot of force on this. Okay, getting a little crooked here. Let me kind of Okay, definitely a lot easier with the smaller watermelon. But I will not give up, or will I? Oh, oh, here we go. Okay, a little unorthodox here, but. Gotta do what you gotta do. Ah! Oh my goodness. Oh. Woo! Did it. Broke out in a sweat. So my son liked this piece. He called it dynamite. You mean dynamite piece? So if you're throwing a party and you need some dynamite for part of the theme, here you go. You're welcome. So here's a nice big juicy wedge. Here, have a bite. So as far as cleanup goes, well, this is a little bit of a pain to clean because you need to clean every single blade. And this one, well, it's just a delight to wash. Check it out. Whee! Let's make some ice cream using four easy ingredients. Two cups of watermelon. Two cups of whole milk. Two tablespoons of sugar. Sugar, oh yeah. And a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> Give it a whirl in your blender. Get excited about the sugar again. Pour it in a loaf pan. And then freeze it for three hours. Oh no, three hours until ice cream. But wait, we have ice cream and watermelon. Let's mix them together and see what happens. We have ourselves a watermelon smoothie. It's yummy. I have one more watermelon trick up my sleeve. I'm making frozen watermelon pup treats, but as you may recall, Ziggy was not a fan of watermelon. So what can I put in the watermelon that he does like? Carrots. So I chopped up some carrots, put them in the blender, added some watermelon, gave it a whirl, and then filled up my molds. Now I'm freezing them overnight. And back to the watermelon ice cream. So here's the ice cream after a couple of hours. It says to blend it after three hours of freezing, but I let it go for about six hours. Oops, so it's very frozen. We're gonna blend it up, blend it up, pop it back into the freezer for another hour and see how it looks. So here it is after an hour and it is not frozen all the way, but let's see if it's delicious. Okay, the moment of truth, here we go. Yum. Is it super yummy? Yeah. Does it taste like watermelon? Yeah. Should we make it again in the future? Yes. Okay, look at that bowl of ice cream. That's soup cream. 
Let's freeze this overnight and see if we can transform this soup into ice cream. Okay, you guys, try that watermelon ice cream. Okay. How does it taste? Good. Does it taste like ice cream? Yeah. yeah. Kind of tastes like a Slurpee, but more milky. Like a Slurpee, but more milky. Oh, don't worry, Ziggy, I have something for you. It's our frozen pup treats. I'm gonna try to pop it out of here. Whoa. <gasps> Look at like that! Me, me, me. I want to try. <laughs> I want to try. Yeah, it's for doggies. Oh, it's a bug box. <laughs> so Ziggy has never eaten an ice cube. He's not sure what to make of it. Let's get our other dog Murray and see if he likes it because he eats ice cubes. Check it out. We have a bone. We have a dog. He likes it. Ooh. Oh, hello, Nacho. Would you like to have this? Yeah? No? Oh yeah, I don't think you like frozen food. Hey, Trixie. Wanna try a little treat? Ooh, what do you think? Will she go back for more? Thinking about it. Nope. There's one more critter who may want to try a little frozen watermelon treat. It's our Russian tortoise. Here you go, Bertha. You try it? No. She mostly eats dark greens like collards, escarole, endive, and there she goes. Oh, Murray, you get to have another treat. Here you go. Wanna try another one? He's a pretty messy eater when it comes to eating frozen dog treats. Our frozen watermelon carrot pup treats are a success. And I think the watermelon ice cream is a success as well. Yeah! Yeah! I'm done. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.